Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we're checking out a new way to line up your vocals or to just align anything that might need it. This is Waves Sync. Hey, if it's your first time to the channel, my name is Tim. I'm a mix and recording engineer just here to answer your questions and make things way easier. Today we're going to be talking about syncing up or lining up elements within your productions, whether it be a video production or a music production. We're going to concentrate on music production, but I'm going to talk about how this can work in the video world as well. And we're talking about syncing up vocals. In music production, we want, whenever we stack vocals, things to line up, especially for our sibilances, because we don't want different S's landing in different spaces, and we also just want things to be nice and tidy in our productions. Wave Sync makes this really, really easy, and it's an ARA plugin. So let's take a look at how it works and how it sounds. Let's dive into the DAW. Okay, so here we are inside of our session. This is called Song for John. It's available on the Multitrack Shared site. Uh, I'm pretty sure you've heard of that one before. You know which one I'm talking about. But this is a really nice folk song that could use some cleaning up. And we're going to have a couple examples. First, we're going to go over how to use this plugin and some of the controls. But if you want to fast forward or jump to the audio examples, use the chapters down below because those are coming in a little bit. First, let's let's go over how to actually use Waves Sync. So like I said, this is our session and let's take a quick listen to just this section in general. Right here, this purple track, this is my lead vocal and underneath it are just a bunch of different harmony vocal stacks and they're all singing the same part. Here's how it sounds. So bid me a fond farewell Sing me one long last goodbye. So it's already really tight, but we can hear a little bit of discrepancies here and there. If I solo everything out, especially at the end of this first line, you'll hear that there are some members in this vocal group that have their notes a little bit longer or they cut them off a little early. Take a listen while we're in solo to all of these vocals. So bid me a fond farewell. Especially that high harmony. We could hear that high harmony just kind of holding the note a little bit longer and it's outlasting everybody else. So we want to tighten that up. And tightening it up will actually help us in the long run. And it'll do a few different things. So let's go over how to use Waves Sync. First, we actually need to put it on the events or the tracks that we're doing. Now, like I said earlier, this is an ARA plugin. So I'm going to be putting it directly on the events inside Studio One. This is how I'm going to do it. However, you do it inside of your DAW that has ARA capabilities. You'll have to follow those steps. But here's how we do it in Studio One. So like I said before, purple is my lead vocal. So I want my purple and all of my other vocals. Right now, I'm gonna right click on any one of them. It does not matter. And we're gonna go down to event effects and I'm gonna use sync VX. And you can see there are some other options in there that I have available to me. Yours will look different. And here it is. This is Waves Sync VX. When you initially load it in on whatever regions, events, sections of your song that need to be aligned, it's going to start off like this. It's going to pull them all in. It's going to make all of the individual tracks for all of the individual elements you brought in, but it needs a leader. That's why on the left-hand side, we see all this purple blinking. It's saying, hey, somebody needs to be in charge. It's a very quick and easy reference. I know that the top one is my lead vocal, so I can just click here where it is blinking and say, okay, you're my leader. Everybody else is going to follow you. And I'm going to do exactly that right now. So now we can also see up on top, it says cancel because what it's doing is it's analyzing the other tracks. And just as you saw it, it is finding out where their timings are and the discrepancies and making adjustments there to get this timing locked in. And we know that we're only doing timing right now because as we look to the right of that same little section that now says in sync, we see time and this is illuminated and we're at 100%. This is what we're affecting because these are harmonies. I actually don't want pitch on and by default, it'll be off. If you're doing doubles, turn your pitch on and it'll lock your pitches as well. 
These are the global controls up here. So how tight we want the timing for everything or how tight we want the pitching between all of the different elements, how much we want those to match. And you can go anywhere from 100%, which is where we have it now, down to 0% where you're not doing anything. And you can see the plugin shows us what we're actively doing. Like look at this note here in my lead vocal versus the same note in one of the backgrounds. It's not held out as long, but if we grab time and we put it back to 100%, it's now moving these waveforms around, making the adjustments so that the notes are longer and they all line up in sync. If I wanted to do pitch, I could globally just turn pitch on, but that's not what we want here. And we could also, like I said, these are the global controls, kind of just relax it a little. Let's go over a little bit more control on the individual elements because there's some cool stuff over here as well. It's timing on this track is also set to 100, so it's following the global, but we can relax this one as well and just have it be a little stronger or a little less lined up than the others. You can see the note actually kind of shrunk down a little, like in its original form where it's much shorter. So this one can kind of use its own settings and then the global is on top of that. Same thing for pitch, we have the same exact thing there. We can solo each of the individual tracks, mute them, we can adjust the gain, that's what this last section here is. Uh, you'll notice that on all of the tracks, they all now say refer number one, because they're referencing number one, and you get to four reference tracks. And we can change this by either just clicking the up and down arrows, and you can see it has a different color code to be able to visually show you that it's different. And we can do that on the individual channels as well. If we had another one, we could say, okay, track two is going to line up to reference two. But these are all the same part. It's part of the same song. I want the timing all to be the same. There's also under this blue arrow, you can transpose them, find controls, and adjust the formant a little. We're not going to be doing any of that. If you want to bypass an individual track, you can do that with the power button on the left-hand side. That's kind of all you need to know of the controls. So now let's get into the audio examples. Let's kind of go back a little bit and I'm going to use the global bypass and turn this off. And just to remind you guys, here is two passes of this same section, one with a mix, one of these vocals in solo. And right now we're in bypass. So bid me a fun farewell. So bid me a fun farewell. And here's everything lined up. We're going to do this a few times so we can really show you guys what's happening and how tight this makes all of our vocals. So bid me a fun farewell. 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 So we're making small changes, but we're really tightening up these vocals. Now I'm going to do something else. I'm going to go over to my mixer and I'm going to really emphasize the reverb. And I want to do this in two parts again, where you guys can hear the full mix and you can also hear just the soloed vocals. And don't listen to the vocals. Listen to the reverb and how the reverb tails of all of these vocals just kind of lock in and it's a cleaner reverb inside of the mix. So let's take this out and we'll get out of solo real fast. Here we go with even more reverb and just take a listen to the tails. First time we're in bypass, second time we're active. So bid me a fun farewell. So bid me a fun So bid me a fun farewell. So bid me a fun farewell. So bid me a fun farewell. 
sing me one long last goodbye. And because this is an ARA plugin, that means we don't have to be actively running it as we're doing our mixing. We can commit this and then actually put all of this alignment onto the regions themselves. And it is less computing power that our machines need to do while we're mixing. That's the benefit of using ARA style plugins, especially when it comes to aligning and pitch changing things like vocals. We talked about it earlier, how this can also be a great tool in video production. Maybe you're on site on a street corner somewhere and you're filming this little snippet of whatever the situation is. Maybe it's an interview and your subject is there and they're answering your questions, but then a car drives by or an ambulance or something that's very loud and kind of cuts off what the subject is saying. If you go back and re-record the lines later, because maybe it's a movie, and you have all of these lines, they can do what's called ADR. They can re-record their lines, and then you can use Waves Sync to sync up the vocal takes of the ADR session to your footage, giving you clean, pristine vocals, even with the ambulance driving through in the background. So there it is, that's Waves Sync VX, and it's available right now. If you wanna pick up your copy, use a link down in the description. If you wanna continue the conversation, jump over to Discord, and until next time, happy mixing, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.